Team, welcome to another edition of Raising Havana. This is episode 23 and today I talk about how mental health can affect our dogs and also how our dogs' mental health can affect us. So complete and full transparency here, I was diagnosed with depression when I was 13 and sometimes I just have really bad days and today was one of them. But I didn't want to neglect Havana at all, I wanted to give her a little bit of training, give her something to do. So we did do some work but my plans of going out and kind of taking on a big long walk and doing lots of training out and about just didn't come to fruition and that's okay. So you have to remember that what we've been trying to teach Havana to do is just be chilled and settled no matter the situation. And even though we didn't go on a particularly long walk, we did go for a little kind of street walk, um, she still got that stimulation she needed. She still got a little bit of training and overall that's the main thing. So I wanted to kick off this episode by talking about how I handle scary situations for her. So you'll see in this little clip that I'm showing you now that um, she was a little bit concerned about the tarpaulin blowing around in the wind. And so what I wanted to do is teach her that it was okay. So you'll see to start with, I reward her disengagements. Uh, and I try not to interfere necessarily when she's interacting with it to start with. So a very common way that people want to deal with situations like this is by scattering some food down on it. And while I do do that at the end of the video, that's not how I wanted to approach it. I wanted to see how confident she would be with me just rewarding her disengagements and her just kind of checking it out occasionally. If she focused on me while it was moving or while the distraction was going on, I would reward her for that as well. I then decided to do a little experiment and so I took the coin out, the coin game is one of her favourite games, and throw it down and we did a little bit of indication practice. And what I loved is that when she disengaged from the coin she did that to go and check out the spooky tarpaulin and then came back and re-indicated which was lovely to see her commitment to the game but also that she was confident enough to leave the game to go and investigate because I don't want that coin to be the be all end all if she's scared. I want her to be able to break off of it if she is uncomfortable and let me know that she is. So overall that was really, really fab. And then I did scatter some food on it once she was confident enough so she can build a nice positive association. And that's how I tend to deal with scary situations. I let the dog process it and then reward them for any disengagement or any interaction with the object. But my main thing is processing. So if I don't have to get involved, I won't, right? Like if I can just let my dog sit there and process this area, then that's awesome. I'm not gonna get involved and not really kind of stress about it. I'm gonna let them get used to it gradually over time. And when she re-engages with me and wants to play and, and train, I know that she's more confident with that environment. So what did we actually get to training? Well, we did some marker word training. So we practiced chase because she was full of beans uh, and she really, really enjoyed that. She enjoyed zipping backwards and forwards, uh, catching the treats in the garden. And then I practiced a scatter as well. I decided to do pause up with her too and just test where she was with that. And that was really quite funny because she's never been quite as excited to play that game before. So you'll see while we're doing it, she's quite bouncy and up and down uh, and a bit erratic with it. But overall, teaching her to be stable while she's excited is another skill. A lot of training we focus focus on our dogs being in the key emotional state before we start training, but that isn't always practical. Instead, what we need to do is figure out ways within that session of bringing our dog's arousal rate down or raising it, depending on the goal. Not to the point where, you know, if they're really, really aroused and we're trying to do settling, that's not going to work. We need to do some prior work before that training session. But in a situation like this where she's really bouncy, throwing the treat for her to get some of that energy out and then heavily rewarding her to promote that stillness was really, really good. We also did our usual indication work for scent mark and tracking. So as you'll see here, throw a coin out she had to go and search for it and sniff it and did some really gorgeous indication work really nice freezes she's really throwing herself into the indications now which is lovely to see so we also did some tracking and Havana learned that actually by following my human scent that I'd shuffled my feet and dropped the coin she would get to the coin and get fed really really heavily and we did two very mini ones that she saw me do as you can see in the video but I was really really impressed with that as well I was impressed with her commitment to the game I'm not expecting her to follow anything exactly yet which in the second video she doesn't really do but she still goes uses her nose and sources the coin which is amazing so just because I had a bad mental health day didn't mean that Havana suffered but uh, you know if you are struggling with mental health on some days don't panic and think you have to do everything with your dog just spend some time with them engaging with them do some play do a bit of basic training give them some enrichment toys and they will be fine they will survive a day without intense training or walks I promise so if you've got any questions about Havana's journey, leave them in the comments, subscribe to this YouTube channel so you can keep up with everything that Havana is doing. And you can find me on Facebook at Jack Fenton Dash the Dorset Dog Trainer. Team, thank you very, very much for watching and I'll chat with you again soon. Bye.